Finding the best people for your company is something that we think about and talk about and dream about all the time. It's something that can make or break a business, make or break a restaurant, make or break anything, especially in the service industry, right? Because it's all in how you present to the world and making sure people are really taken care of. There's a couple of things that I think are really, really key. And recently we've been, we've been both hiring and, and also have hired several people. And you know, in, in talking with people about hiring, here's a couple of things that I've found to be very, very beneficial. Number one, always put it out in the world. Why do we take the most important things and hold them in? Why do we not tell anybody what's going on in the world around us? Why are we so quiet when we need help? When you need help, remember it says help wanted. Help wanted means I'm hiring. Well, I need help. And if I'm looking for people, the right kind of people, you know where I find that help? From the people around me, from my circle, from my ancillary circles, not just the immediate people, a couple of the people we've recently hired and or hired in the last year or so, all came from referrals from people that knew our business, knew our business in an intimate way. So they were either doing some direct business with us or they knew people that would be a great fit or they knew the person and they just thought that they needed to meet us. Simple things like that allow us to find the best people to serve you, to serve our team, to serve all the people that we serve. And man, I can't find them myself. And so putting it out in the world when I'm looking for someone is one of the things that I find extremely beneficial. Another thing I find extremely beneficial, number two, I would say, is finding the right fit when it comes to personality. Personality is something that's extremely important. It may not be permanent, as my friend Ben Hardy says in his book, Personality is Impermanent, but it is something that can be a great indicator towards strengths and blind spots when it comes to your role. And so when I'm out there looking and putting it out into the world, I'm also looking for a style of personality. I'm looking for someone, if I'm looking for someone in marketing, for example, I really wanna find someone who gets video and understands social media and understands and uses the very things that we need them to do. I don't want you to serve my food in my restaurant if you've never eaten it. Like I have got to find people that are in it, that love it, that understand it, right? If I'm looking for analytics and people that are looking to do para planning or, or financial planning or extremely number oriented things, I may not be looking for the huge personality, but I may be looking for the huge analytical brain that thinks differently, that helps cover all basis, that's cautious, that's, that's allowing us to look at every level and every analytical detail, right? You don't want your pilot to be the, the most flamboyant, excitable person when they, when they start to hit a little turbulence. You want them to be relaxed and calm and analytical and looking at each of the things on, on, the, on the tool belt in front of them, right? I look for that when it comes to personality. I'm not disqualifying or only qualifying, but I'm, I'm using that as a key. So all of the things I'm talking about right now are things that we leverage and utilize. It's not the only thing we leverage and utilize. When I looked for a certain position in my office a year ago, I was looking for a certain personality and I met the right person through a referral. That person turned out to be a different personality than I was looking for, but the absolute perfect fit. And I didn't realize it until we got through the interview, looked at the experience, looked at all the different avenues that had come in that allowed us to make the right decision. I also don't only look for referrals and personality fits, I really put them into the process. So I think another thing that's really important when you're hiring is to follow the same process. See, this allows you to bring in referrals, to identify personality traits that are positive, but also have a process-driven scenario so that you're also bringing in people from the outside. You're not only looking at friends of friends and acquaintances, you're not only looking for this personality of a style, but you're also interpreting people with experiences that are out there that are unique, that are different, that maybe you didn't think about. Sometimes we even find people for a job we weren't looking for yet because we found the right person. See, I'm open to finding the right people I'm also open to finding the right roles as I need to, but I'm not close to think that when I meet the right person, 
sometimes that person might have an exponential effect on my business. So I'm interested in, in your viewpoints when it comes to hiring. You know, are you using personality assessment tools? Are you using Myers-Briggs? Are you using DISC? Are you using some level of assessment to identify strengths, natural strengths and natural blind spots? I won't say, I won't say weaknesses because I just believe that our strengths turned up too loud are our blind spots. Those are the things that actually make us unique and who we are. But turned on a little too loud, they can kind of make us a little too much of who we are, right? So when you're hiring, are you using these tools? Are you leveraging your friends and family? Are you reaching out to people? I got a text from a friend just yesterday saying, I'm looking for this position. This is the salary. This is the style of person I'm looking for. If you know of anybody, let me know. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And I'm looking. I'm actively looking, peripherally, I'm looking. And I want people to understand that's the kind of stuff that really, really helps not only find someone to fill the position, but the right person for the position. So let me know what you do. How is your business functioning in that capacity? Are you hiring? You know, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't tell you we're also still looking for great people. I'm always looking for financial advisors. I'm looking for, you know, young and new financial advisors in the business who are looking to grow. I'm looking for established financial advisors who are looking to have a succession plan or a catastrophic risk plan. They don't have it. I'm looking for advisors that are interested in becoming independent. We've created a really great process for that. And then in the back office, we're always looking for great administrative um, associates, people that can get in the weeds on processing, people that, that are great client service advocates. Um, we call client service representatives or, or any of these, people that are client facing that understand how to treat somebody and serve the people we serve at the highest level. And I really, really encourage you in a time where, where it's kind of hard to find great people, you know, it, they're, all, they're all around you. But sometimes it can be really hard to find great people for that great role. So I'm putting it out in the world. I'm looking for lots of positions. Don't ever be afraid to reach out. Don't ever be afraid to ask and send me something if you're looking for something. I'd love to be a resource. I'd love to help you. I'm Scott Danner and I'm here to help and I'm looking for help. Thanks for joining me.